Good morning and welcome. This is Mission Control Houston. The International Space Station is kicking off its week with the President's Day arrival of a cargo spacecraft delivering 8,300 pounds of food, supplies, and scientific experiments to the astronauts in orbit. You're seeing a live view now of the cargo spacecraft, a Northrop Grumman Cygnus vehicle named the SS Pierce Sellers under the firm grasp of the space station's robotic arm, ready to be berthed or installed to the Earth-facing port on the Unity module. We just got confirmation that first stage capture is now complete. Cygnus is now soft captured to the International Space Station. What comes next uh, to complete installation is a series of 16 bolts driving in four at a time to secure Cygnus to the space station. Second stage capture is now underway. Installation of the Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft was completed at 6.02 a.m. Central Time while the space station was flying over the Pacific Ocean. And that is capture complete on the Cygnus vehicle. We just went through the second stage of installation where a series of 16 bolts were driven. Installation of the Cygnus spacecraft was completed at 6.02 a.m. Central Time, 7.02 a.m. Eastern, while the space station was flying over the Pacific Ocean. All 16 hooks are now driven, tight, and secure, resulting in a hard mate of the spacecraft. Second stage capture is complete. Northrop Grumman's 17th commercial resupply mission is now attached to the Unity module, and its 8,300 pounds of cargo will be unloaded as early as tomorrow. It's scheduled to stay until the end of May, when Cygnus leaves the space station, it will have spent almost 100 days attached to the Unity module. After departing, it'll stay in orbit for about 16 days, deploy a number of small satellites, and conduct a destructive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean where the space station is now. This fiery re-entry helps the station remove trash, waste, and other items no longer needed in orbit.